This is our DVA physical physics presentation. I'm Finley, this is Nathan. Right. So we're going to start with the history. So DVA was officially founded in 1986 by Lloyd Newson, Michelle Rochefort, and Nigel Chandler. Lloyd Newson has led the company, directing and conceived all his productions since it was formed. DVA's work reflects Newson's personal interest in social, psychological, and political issues. To pursue his own choreographic interest more fully, Newson approached dancer Michelle Richard Shaw to work on Being a Part of Lonely Art, a commission from Dance Umbrella UK. The following year, Newson invited Nigel Charner to work with him on My Sex, Our Dance, 1986. That year, DVA Physical Theatre was officially formed. So now we've got a list of uh, some of their performances that they've done over the years. Now, a bit of information on Lloyd Newson. Newson has led DVA since it was formed in 1986, with his work having a dynamic impact on contemporary dance and theatre. He's won numerous awards for his dance, and in 2013 was voted by the UK Critics Circle as one of the 100 most influential people in the arts over the last 100 years. He was born in Australia and had an interest in dance, and after his graduation from the University of Melbourne, he decided he wanted to pursue dance professionally. Before creating DBA, he danced and choreographed for many different companies which gave him experience and understanding of dance. He was influenced by Pina Bausch. What is DBA? DBA is all about breaking down the barrier between dance and theatre and communicating ideas and feelings clearly. They aim to be easy, easily accessible and to take their work to as wide an audience as possible. DVA stands for Dance and Video A, which reflects their belief in film and media being able to enhance their work and reach a wider audience. They are based in London and they are a member of Dance UK. Their ideology. They challenge traditional gender roles and stereotypes. They are all about questioning the norms, especially for dance and gender, taking risks physically and aesthetically breaking barriers between dance and theatre, but above all, clearly communicating ideas and feeling unpretentiously. Alright, so this is a bit about John that was on from 2004 to 2015. Alright, so John was their most recent, was DBA's most recent production. It was uh, by, obviously, directed by Lord, uh, Lloyd Nelson. Uh, Nelson said that it was inspired by a man who interviewed called John as they explained the story. Uh, the performance follows someone called John. After years of crime and drugs in his life, converted with others in an unexpected place, it's actually based on real life stories told throughout movement and spoken word. Um, it's an 80 minute performance and it focuses on the development of one character. Um, it's quite, it was called quite controversial as at the end it involves incest and someone died from drug overdose. Another one of the performances was called Strange Fish, Fish which is one of their most critically acclaimed performances. Um, it's about couples and coupling and it's more focused on theatre and relationship theatre. Um, it was originally a theatre performance directed and choreographed by Newson and David Hinton, but then it was later adapted to film and was on TV as well. It was on uh, Channel 4 as well. <coughs> um, yeah. Newson said that he aimed to push up the limits and take risks in terms of representation and traditional dance presentation. So he wanted to involve people of all shapes and sizes in his dancing. And it also won three awards. So, yeah. Alright, so this is some information about being a performer for the DBA. Uh, during the interview, Newson stated that he likes to make his performance question how and why they're engaging in their work. So they're not just doing anything for no reason, they want everything they do to have reason behind it. Um, Newson said that the question why is at the heart of the year's work at all times. Um, they follow the usual uh, rehearsal pattern that they do every single time. So they have a five week workshop and then they try to implement the workshops that they have helped performances the most and then they try and put it into the actual rehearsal process. Uh, this is just a few of their awards that they won, uh, their most recent awards, as you can see. But yeah. The cost of living. This was another performance that they done in 2004. This again was on uh, Channel 4 television. It was originally meant to be for theatre, but again they moved it to TV. Um, so by, it was advised by Lloyd New, uh, Newson and his dancers, they also got involved in it as well. He said that he didn't just want to be the only person that was involved in the making of it. 
And Lucy said that from doing this, he wanted to highlight society's obsession with image. He wanted to quite, kind of break down some lines about that as well. Uh, thanks for listening. Is there any questions you can ask me about? No? Thank you for listening.